What's up, pumpkin heads? This week we protect the plants from frost and we take a look at the time lapse I got set up on the gantry frame. Stay tuned. You're watching Moby Mike Pumpkins on YouTube. Been windy, cold, like nights like 37. Tonight's supposed to get 34 with frost, so I think I'm gonna put the hoop house back on this one, splice together some plastic, and I'll put frost blankets on these two because they physically ain't gonna fit in hoops. Uh, we got a few leaves broken with the wind and stuff, but not too bad considering, so they got to get tough. So we'll get that done here tonight after supper, and as we can afford to take a frost and kill them all after we got quite a bit of work into them. So hopefully them frost blankets work. I never use them too much, but I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. So. All right, we're gonna put a perimeter of stakes around here for the frost blanket to hold it up on here. So the last couple days have been really windy and stuff. And got a leaf there that bent, and then this secondary here pretty much mainly just broke clean off. So fortunately it was a nice secondary, so that ain't gonna do us no good that way. So we'll cut that off, cut that leaf off, get a perimeter of stakes around so we can put a frost blanket on, and. See what happens. Welcome to Wisconsin, where one day it's 80 and the next day it's 34. Well, it's Friday night and just got back from the supper club for all you can eat fish and a couple of, uh, what do they call them things? Old fashions here in Wisconsin. Just like supper club. Uh, you don't have to be a member and it's a club. The rest of the country calls it a restaurant. So anyway, we're out here. We got some frost protection up because it's gonna be 34 tonight. Uh, just some frost blankets on these two, and then put the hoop back on that one, recovered it, got a heater in it. That one barely fits in there, but it's a little bit smaller than the other ones, so if it gains a little growth on this, that'll be cool. Catch back up to them other ones, so. All right, guys, hopefully this works. All right, so I didn't get out here early in the morning when the frost was on. I was sound asleep. A lot of people were losing sleep over it. Not this guy. Here's a plant that was just sitting out in the open. You can see the leaves are all damaged from the frost. Um, everything was good that we had covered up. The greenhouse was obviously fine. Uh, my wife was out this morning when it was frosting. She said there was like steam, steam coming up off these blankets, you know, because the ground's still warm. So it was quite a bit warmer under there. It was just uh, melting the frost off the top. Too bad I didn't get a video of that for you guys, but they look all good. We did risk it once earlier this week where I didn't cover them up. Luckily, luckily we were okay. We're going to cover them again tonight. It's going to be like 38. I don't know if the chance of frost is as high, but then the rest of the week is like high 40s, close to 50s, no worries. So we got the stuff out here, so we might as well cover them tonight, and we'll just be safe on that. So, And plus, with that smaller plant in that greenhouse, I might be able to gain some growth on it to catch it up a little closer to these other two. So that'll be cool, too. My 500-pound effort pumpkins, even though I covered them up with some weed fabric, they didn't do real well in the frost. I think they're okay that they'll survive, but definitely a setback on them, but no big deal. All right, we had a blowout. Broke the screws off our shoes, so I we'll had to put new screws in there. So that's all it is, is just shoe screwed to two by four and a piece of plywood. So we'll get her fixed up. All right, guys, time lapse you've been waiting for. It's a couple weeks in the making. We actually had some stuff going on here. Uh, we got the tilling done on the patch. We ended up removing both, all three hoops from the pumpkins eventually. And we ended up putting one back on for the frost, as well as then the other two we covered up with frost blankets for the week. So there you have it.